Hello and welcome to this video of the tutorial list about programming the ESP32 board in an easy way. Today we will see together how to control any object connected to any ESP32 in a local network with an Android app that we will create ourselves. For that we will use the MQTT protocol. Before starting this video, I invite you to check the video B09 about a basic MQTT communication. This is our MQTT architecture. I have installed an MQTT broker in my computer. The phone will act as a publisher on the topic light and the ESP32 will be subscribed to the topic and will receive the message on or off. First, I invite you to download the extension that we will need later to create the Android app. Now let's go to TuneNote for ESP32. First, I will make a program to connect to the local network and I will call uh, all the uh, four blocks for the MQTT protocol. We already saw that in the video B09. Here I need to subscribe to the topic light. The callback function will be called every time there is a new data on the topic light. So I will display first the data and make my controls. If I receive on, I will turn the LED connected to D4 uh, otherwise, I will turn it uh, off. Now I will upload the program. Normally the board is connected to the Wi-Fi network. With the command line I will try to publish on and off. In the serial monitor I see the ESP32 received the data and the LED is turned on and off. In this level, I am sure that my program is working fine. Now let's move to uh, the creation of the Android app. This is the site of MIT App Inventor. I will create a new project. In the beginning, I will make a label to show the name of the app.
here I will add a button to connect to the broker and I will add a label that I uh, that will contain the state use of the connection and the label if I see two it means that uh, I'm connected zero means uh, that I'm not uh, connected Now I will add two buttons to publish on and off. Now I will add the component timer. I will need it to make the app check the connectivity with the broker every certain amount of time. By default, it will be one second. Now I need to add the MQTT extension that I downloaded. You need also to extract the file. We will need this one. Add it to your project. Here I will write the IP of the broker. Now I will program the button that will connect to the broker. Here in the timer block, basically I will check every two seconds if the app is still connected to the broker and display that in the label. If I'm connected and uh, I'm supposed to have the number two. Now I will program the buttons on and off. When I click on the button on, I will publish on the topic light on. And when I click on the button off, I will publish off. To test the app, first click on connect and wait until you have the number 2 on the app. After that, click on 
on or off to control the light. If you want to know more about the extension and the code error, I invite you to see the official site of the extension. In the end, I hope that you liked the video and see you soon. Bye.